good afternoon and welcome back to Sam Outdoors. It's been a while but I've decided to come out into the woods today with Foggy and we're going to process some wood, get the fire alight, have some tea down here but most of all we're going to clear out the wood store ready for our woodland camps. So we've got a bit of woodland that we can use as I've explained before and uh, yeah it's pretty Pretty well secluded it's really lovely it's near home so we don't have to travel too far we can camp and we've got a beautiful area where we can light a fire so we've been gathering wood for the last sort of 18 months really and there's some really old oak down in these woods so today we're going to split all of that up rejig the store make sure that we've got everything we need all the small bits tinder and the long burning logs for nice evenings and we'll have that all tidy by the end of the day so hopefully by the end of our day in the woods today we'll have a complete full log store ready for our winter camping see you in a bit i've just chipped away at some fat wood to make some shavings for my fire kit always great when you find some fat wood had a few chunks of it out of a tree in our local woodland and uh, stored that now I'll just uh, shave a few bits off each time. Helps me to get the fire going. Well that took a bit of doing today, getting the fire going. Everything's wet and damp. But we got there in the end. And the plan today is just some tidying up in the woods. And cooking some lunch on my hanger which I made last time I was here. This is the other beautiful thing about these woodlands is that we've got running water so we can always bring our purifiers with us and have access to water whenever we need it. So we've got our water, we've got our logs, that gives us everything we need today for our log fire and our dinner. So today I'm going to be cooking some fresh vegetables with some noodles and a sausage. So that's uh, my dinner. I think Fog's bought an MRE with him, so uh, probably an all day breakfast, knowing Foggy, he loves those. And uh, I'm going to cook mine on the open fire with my pot hanger that I made last time we were in the woods. So. Today is turning out to be a fantastic day. Tomorrow is going to be stormy. So come on, let's go and see how Fog's doing with the log store. Tell us what you're doing today then, Fog. I am using the log splitter to split up some of this hard oak. And it's probably been here 50 years in this wood, so it's well seasoned. It's like hitting concrete. But it'll all be good for our winter store. Winter, yeah, winter, winter fire. Um, yeah, winter camping really in like our bug out location and we've got plenty of split ready to go wood. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's looking like a good store actually at the moment. Not looking too shabby. But just rotating the uh, wood pile around a bit. And, uh, this definitely is not the uh, easiest wood to split. No, it doesn't look like it either. You making us both a copper? Yep. Still not bad yet. <laughs> <laughs> 
about time to. Nice cup of coffee, I think. You should be making me one after all that log splitting. <laughs> Fire duties today. I love it here. Use my little axe if you want. Splitting that into blocks for the firebox. Handy to have that when you're out with the little um, wood fired stoves, isn't it? Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant little fuel source. So, what's for lunch then, Foggy? I'm having macaroni. Cheese. Not Way an all-day breakfast. No. Not an all day <laughs> breakfast. I was going to. You always have all-day breakfast. I know, but I was going to, and then I decided on mac and cheese to try it to see whether it was edible. Well, I had a mac and cheese last week, and it was fine. So, hopefully, you'll enjoy it as much as I did. I'm going to leave mine a bit until later. Hmm. Yeah. Keep the fire going. I got a tin of biscuits for later. A pack of biscuits. Tin of biscuits? Chocolate biscuits. <laughs> I've got a little chocolate bar actually. And I'll probably go and have fish and chips tonight when I get home. Oh dear. So what do you reckon of the way for uh, macaroni cheese then? Well mac and cheese and it is actually really nice. I've given it kind of a 7 out of 10 maybe. It's edible. Very cheesy. A lot of cheese in here. Um, yeah, it's really nice. Not bad for a winter camp meal, is it? No. Mm. You know, I've said before I don't like the dehydrated food and um, these are the next best thing in the easy carrying in your pack so yeah I'll definitely buy a couple of these for long hikes definitely absolutely well that's me sat down chilled out for five minutes got my coffee and uh, I can hear water running on one side of me and the fire crackling on the other absolutely perfect Fog's had his dinner I didn't fancy mine just yet because I had a really big breakfast at home so I'm going to cook mine soon. But uh, yeah, I'm going to keep the fire going so that I can do that over the fire, save on my gas. But in the meantime I'm going to leave you with some of the beautiful noises from the woodland. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. So that's my dinner starting to cook now. Got some broccoli and some leeks in there. Let that come to the boil. And then I'll add my noodles. Quite an easy dinner. But so good to be using the fire instead of gas. Well that's my dinner cooked. It's uh, really nice actually. A little sea in there. It's 
broccoli noodles and some sausage and some leeks just chopped up I'm uh, on a bit of a mission at the moment to lose a bit of weight we've got some mountains to climb at the end of October beginning of November hopefully heading back up to Snowdon and uh, we'll see what we can find up there weather permitting do some through hikes maybe head to the Rinogs and uh, yeah it's just uh, lots to look forward to in the next few weeks so uh, watch this space for some more videos right guys well that's it for today we've uh, managed to fill our log store up cooked food both of us and now it's uh, pretty much time to go home we've got a bit of storm coming our way so we're um, we're heading off home now but just before I go I just wanted to um, just give you a quick show of this really 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 cheap piece of kit from the bug out bug net just pop it over your head and that will keep all the nasty mozzies out which are starting to come out in force now and uh, the fire has been keeping them away but as the fire dies down obviously the little bugs come back and uh, yeah this is really simple really lightweight just um, comes in a tiny bag easy to pop in your kit and uh, yeah that was uh, grabbed that last weekend from Lee at the bug out up in uh, Bilth Wells and uh, in mid Wales there and so yeah so great piece of kit especially if you're winter camping or if you're outside by water like we are here and there's uh, lots of mozzies and other bits and pieces around um, great piece of kit okay so yeah so anyway that's um, just a quick piece of kit that I thought I'd show you at the end that I'd brought out with me today and uh, I'll uh, be seeing you on the next one hopefully that will be up in North Wales when we're heading up a mountain. So for now, take care guys.